you don't want to get to that point in your life when you decide that people are different and you act accordingly, you will keep having issues with people forever and ever. channel my name is Ayala and if you are seeing my video for the very first time welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you already know you're an answer to prayers thank you for always coming back I'm a youtuber based in Texas and today's video is very dear to my heart it's dear to my heart for a lot of reasons because I've been doing a lot of international student series here on my channel a lot of lifestyle a lot of vlogs and I've not really had the time to chit chat and discuss some of the things that are important to me. And today is one of those days. I hope you keep watching though. <laughs> so today we are talking about long distance. So I did the I'm talking about long distance friendship. And I'm currently, I think all my life I've always been in a long distance friendship. So from the friends I had when I was in primary school to the friends I had when I was in secondary school and I attended a boarding house and of course I had to leave the friends in primary school at home then go to a boarding house and after secondary school I had to leave those ones and go to the university. So it has always just been moving from one phase to another, from one place to another. So navigating long distance friendship is something that people don't talk about and honestly speaking i'm not an expert but i've had a couple of long distance friendship in my life that are still in my life and it's amazing because i've seen people in six months friendship in one year friendship actually been breaking up and not even looking back and yes so i'm just going to be here to tell you like the tips and how i navigated or how I've been able to navigate my long distance relationship. So you all know I just took like one of the biggest move of my life ever. And it's about maybe eight months. It's gonna be a year in oh it's more than eight months, are eleven, ten months now. So it's going to be a year I moved in August and so far so good. I'm reminiscing and I'm seeing that my relationships have grown. People are usually only concerned about romantic relationships and all that, but I, for one, and I know that a lot of people are very passionate about their friendships, not just romantic relationships. And if you are in that category, this video is definitely for, for you. And first things first, let's just all agree that life is life -ing. Life is honestly happening to every one of us. And if you're in your 20s, you're probably in a phase where a lot of people are moving out of your life and a lot of people are moving in. It's a very free flow of traffic right now because you are at the point where you're making very big decisions and it's so difficult that some people are not just going to be aligned with that decisions and they will have to go along the way. So first things first to navigate, to maintain a healthy relationship while still being in a long distance range a healthy friendship not just relationships now so first things first is honesty like every kind of relationship we all need to learn how to be honest it's, it might sound tricky i might just be like mm, i don't really owe you that but if you are truly somebody's friend i think you owe them a level of honesty you have friends that have like moved away or you are not in close range with you truly, truly, absolutely owe them honesty. So people are not in your mind. They really can't know, especially when they are not in the same location as you, they really can't know what is going on with you. So it's okay and it's absolutely necessary to actually be honest. So when they call you, you should actually state how you are doing. So when somebody asks you, how are you doing? I don't expect you to just say fine as friends. If you are fine, then that's okay. But if there's more to it, you should actually be able to express a level of honesty and just tell them what's going on truthfully and if they are truly your friend they are going to help you navigate the situation no matter how the big change in their lives is going on like i said life is life in so if you don't tell people what's happening to you they are not soothsayers they're not people that know your mind in fact they are not mind readers to be able to know what's going on with you so for me i think Honesty has played a huge part with my friends, so I'm able to tell them, oh, this is what's going on, I'm sad, this is 
things have been rough, things have been smooth. So they know how to communicate with me because I've had a level of honest conversations with them. Second thing is mutual respect. So this one is actually based on the fact that you need to understand that people are different. See, if you don't want to get to that point in your life when you decide that people are different and you act accordingly, you will keep having issues with people forever and ever. Honestly, the simple truth is people are different and you just need to act accordingly. And especially when you call people your friends and you want to maintain this friendship with them, it is very important that you realize that people are different and work accordingly. Respect their space, respect their boundaries. If someone tells you, a lot is going on with me right now, but I can't, I can't say like in detail what's going on with me. I think it's very much okay for you to respect that. And instead of being angry that they are not sharing, it's okay for you to give them time and allow them navigate through it and just make sure they know that you are there for them whenever it is they are ready to share. And that's what the misconception people always have. And they'll be like, oh, you are my friend, but you don't want to tell me what's wrong with you. Really? If you respect me enough, then you should respect that I can make certain decisions, no matter how painful they are, I can make certain decisions and I will be okay by it. Be intentional about communication. So I've been intentional about communication. So I've gone through a phase. So when I first came here, it was hard a little bit for me. Not, not, not like I don't want to like talk to them, but things were just a lot. A lot was going on. And but one thing I always had at the back of my mind is that I am going to reach out to the people I love. It got to a point when school started and I had a lot of academic hurdles to cross that I actually set a timetable. So not just school timetable, like I had time for my assignment and all that, but I actually said on this day, I'm going to call certain people and I make sure I call them family, friends, and this is just... This is not just random communication. This is maybe intentional about reaching out. And we are too grown, like you're in your 20s, you're in your teens. You are too grown to be bantering communication, to be feeling that if this person don't call me, I won't call them. Like I said earlier, nobody is a mind reader, so I can't really know what's going on with you, especially when I'm not in close range with you. So if you are not ready to have intentional communication, intentional conversations with people, it will be hard for you to actually navigate or keep or sustain a long distance friendship. And right now it's a japa season or a traveling season, a whole big season for us, especially those in our twenties. It's a whole new world where everybody, some people are moving out, some people are moving in, some people are getting married, some people are, are going further in their education. Some people are just, life is just life in, like I said, like that. That particular topic cannot be overemphasized. Life is happening to everyone and it's okay for you to understand and intentionally reach out to people. It has to be praying together. So me and my friends, we don't like do this like on a regular or anything like that. But once in a while, we tend to I have groups that I am in that they pray every, every sometimes like every week, like a day in every week they pray. I'm not always like there, but it's, it's interesting to know that some people are praying for you and they're ready to pray with you. Depending on your faith, you might not necessarily be a Christian, but you should be a Christian. Okay. <laughs> but you might not necessarily like be a Christian, but for Christians and for someone like me, I suggest that if you're a Christian, you're trying to navigate your relationship, your long distance relationship, it's fine to create time to pray together with your friend. It just makes you at ease and just know that there are people in your corner who honestly have almost the same belief with you praying with you and it's just a good feeling honestly and it totally helps prayer is the master key and the only key honestly so if you have friends that are willing to stay and pray with you you are lucky you are blessed you are really really blessed and i feel like that's an important way to keep friendship going in your 20s navigating long distance friendship is having time to pray together second thing is loyalty so it's okay for people to be your friend but when some things are being said about them it's okay for you to if you think this is out of tune you should be able to stand by them so i think people don't understand what loyalty is people just honestly 
the Nidali word loyalty is they are only loyal in the presence of other people. So when certain conversation comes up about some of my friends, I know their character. But if it is out of character, if you're saying something I feel like mm, it's not so much like them, it's okay for you to say, nah, I don't think this babe will do this. It's not that they didn't do whatever the person is saying they did, but just you being loyal and you know that it has never happened in your presence. So that sense of loyalty helps you to keep yourself in check and also know that there are people you owe, you have like an obligation towards. It just helps to strengthen the bond of friendship, especially when you are not in close vicinity. Another thing, the next thing is apologizing and explaining. So for a few weeks or a few months ago, I and my friend had a misunderstanding on the phone. Of course, I'm not there with them. It was a very silly misunderstanding. It was like, I was trying to tell her to, um, someone wanted to pass the phone, give the phone to her. And I'm like, no, 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 no. I don't want to talk to this person. I want to talk to that person. It was a pure joke. It wasn't, it wasn't like I didn't want to talk to her. It was just a a pure joke honestly but she took it she was offended and one thing i don't like is when people downplay other people's feelings so if somebody says they are offended about something it's not for you to say is it that small thing that made you offended no that's that's all manner of wrong i think it's very inappropriate for you to downplay people's feelings so she was offended another conversation led to another conversation i think i said some things and i honestly didn't even think it was a big deal like in my head i wasn't thinking about it a few days later i had to call her and i know i knew that the energy was weird and i'm like okay so what's up what's happening here and she said oh you did this you did that see communication is very important and immediately she she said i'm like no it was a joke honestly it wasn't a it wasn't something that i plan to use to spike you or something it was a joke you i didn't mean it and i didn't just apologize it's okay to apologize but it's very necessary to explain i know some people say just say sorry and move on from it but that's not how it works in case of next time it's okay for you to explain your tune so that when next this kind of thing ever comes up the person already gets it that okay this is another refer probably a joke or something so i apologized and i and i said and um, i honestly said was not my intention and just explained it out so it's one thing it's, it's very funny that something as little as that can grow and even become worse situations so please do be able to apologize be able to bring yourself to explain not just apologize explain yourself in case of next time don't be caught up in the web of i've said sorry I said what i said let's move on from it and don't downplay people's feelings when they say something hurts them it's not doesn't matter how you perceived it if something hurt somebody i think it's very reasonable for you to think about it and apologize and that's that about that and another thing i think this is like the last thing that helps navigate long distance friendship is support see i'm big my friends are like one of my biggest cheerleaders they are like one of the biggest influence in my life they are the ones that repost my video they are the ones i can tell when i am sad they are the ones i can possibly say oh i'm not praying so well what can i do better i'm not doing this so well what's happening with you and don't just always be a, a taker also learn how to give so especially in a long distance friendship where you can't see face to face to express affection it's okay to upload your friend's picture and just wish them well it's okay to support their business it's okay to give them the shout out it's okay to repost their videos it's okay to just do the things that you know that makes them happy you necessarily might not put naira or dollar in their pockets but it's always very important this is the way you connect with people this is the way you make them know that even though i am not with you i am 100 percent still in your corner so if you are trying to navigate a friendship and you've not done any of these things i mentioned or you're trying to hold on to a friendship you should you should honestly try it it is very important and i'm not of the opinion of cutting people off in fact i don't i never get the point i know that we outgrow friendships we outgrow some relationships and for all the relationships i've lost in my lifetime the friendship i've lost well it happened maybe i was not smart enough to navigate it then or maybe life just happened 
as life is life, you know. But right now, the ones I have and I know that I want to keep for the longest time, I am going to cherish it and work actively towards it. And don't always feel like you owe somebody else, like, oh, because this person is not reaching out, I will not reach out to. It's not worth it in the end. And the last thing I want to leave you with in this video is please don't end a relationship a friendship something that is a friendship don't end it without having a conversation so even though i have lost some relationships in my life i can confidently say that one of the biggest relationships i probably have lost along the way i i tried my best i had a conversation before it ended we are cordial we are in a good place but we don't necessarily have to we are not like chummy chummy people and i feel like that gave us closure so not just relationship or not not romantic relationships alone need closure i think regular everyday relationship your friendships also need closure so if you know you are done like i'm not doing this again i'm done with this friendship please have closure have a conversation it's not doesn't necessarily have to be a heated argument it can just be months later it can be weeks later when you've calmed down just have a conversation about it close that chapter of your life with an open mind i hope you've learned something from this video and i just want to give a big shout out to all my friends i wish i could like put all your names in this maybe maybe i'll just like that with you but if i do that that might be mm. okay anyways Thank you so much for the past 10 months, for the past 4 years, for the past 5 years, for the past 7 years, for the past 10 years, for the past 20 years. All of you, because I know you guys are watching this video, I'm your baby and I know you are watching. I love you all and I'm grateful. Um, you are one of those people that watch this video to this point. So thank you for all your support. Thank you for being genuine friends. Thank you for making life one bit easier thank you for making things easier thank you for being friends that has taught me a lot in life for showing me love for your loyalty for your honesty for your support for your kindness i totally totally appreciate you i love you and for my youtube family you guys have been riding with me we are currently on 3900 and something subscriber and that's a big deal probably come here and pop a champagne <laughs> okay sorry we don't drink <laughs> pop zobo or water <laughs> when we finally hit our 5k benchmark for now i'm going to come here and shout it up but you guys 3900 of you are awesome thank you for riding with me i hope you actually find a way to navigate your friendship and if you have a friend that you want to see this video you want to tell them you love them you might as well share this video with them drop them tag them in the comment section and let them know that you love them very much and you wish them all the best in life thank you for watching and i'll see you all in my next video don't forget to like share and subscribe